North Korea launches its largest and first full capability intercontinental ballistics missile since 2017. The federal government signs a deal with vaccine manufacturer Moderna to produce mRNA vaccines in Australia. Scott Morrison says the Russian president will not be welcome at this year's G20 leaders' meeting. It's midnight Eastern Daylight Time. This is Newsnight. I'm Anna Rawlings. In Fox Sports News tonight, Osman Khawaja scores his second century of the series as Australia sets Pakistan a hefty run chase to win the third test. And Carlton beat the Bulldogs by 12 points at Marvel Stadium to extend their undefeated start to the AFL season. Also tonight, we'll take a look at the morning newspapers, including The Age, where China and the Solomon Islands are set to sign off on a security deal that will result in Chinese warships being based in the Pacific. And in weather, the wet and stormy conditions set to continue across eastern parts of the country. Details coming up. In breaking news, North Korea has reportedly fired what's thought to be a new type of long-range intercontinental ballistic missile high into space from its east coast. Both South Korea's military and Japan's Coast Guard are reporting the launch was of an intercontinental ballistic missile, which landed 170 kilometres west of Aomori Prefecture in Japan at 5.44pm Australian Eastern Daylight Time. This evening's launch is presumed to be the largest and first full capability launch of North Korea's missiles since 2017 and at least the 13th ballistic missile test fire this year by the nuclear armed state. Japan's Coast Guard became aware that the missile would land inside its exclusive economic zone about 50 minutes after the launch was first reported. North Korea's frequency in missile tests is now unprecedented and has drawn wide condemnation from the United States. The federal government has signed off on a deal with vaccine manufacturer Moderna to produce mRNA vaccines in Australia. The multi-billion dollar facility will be built in Victoria in agreement with the Andrews government and is expected to produce 100 million vaccines each year.